Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I'm going to show you how to choose and import an Avada pre-built website. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. To start this video, it's very important to understand exactly what a Nevada pre-built site is. Basically, it is an example of what you can build with Nevada. It is simply content. A collection of pages, images, settings and other content like forms and icon sets. You can import any one of these 100 plus pre-builts into your Nevada site as a starting point for your own website and to show you some of the design possibilities with Nevada. Avada ships with over 100 pre-builts covering a wide range of industries and styles, all using different aspects and features of Avada. Make sure you watch our two-part video series on customising an Avada pre-built site. The link to part one is listed below. Ok, the best place to start with the Avada pre-built websites is avada.website. This showcase website has all the pre-builts for you to explore, and you can filter by category, or by plugins used, or just search for a specific term. As mentioned, this is just a showcase site. You don't import the pre-builts from here as this is done directly from your Avada install. If I just move over to a brand new site and register it with my purchase code, we can see it loads the Avada setup wizard. Here you can choose either to set up a website from scratch or to import one of the Avada pre-built sites. If you select that option, the wizard will then guide you through the importation of a pre-built website in a matter of minutes. The hardest thing in this process is simply deciding which website you want to import. Please see the How to Use the Setup Wizard video for a full rundown on that tool, linked below. If you choose not to use the wizard, or just want to install another pre-built website at some point, then you should instead use the Avada pre-built website importer. You can find this at Avada, Websites, accessed from the WordPress sidebar, or on the top menu of the Avada dashboard. Here you will also find all the Avada pre-built sites, and with this tool you can both import and uninstall pre-built sites. A final thing to check before importing a pre-built site is the system status page, found under the maintenance menu on the Avada dashboard. In particular, you want to check the WordPress and server environment sections. It is good practice to ensure that any server-side configuration issues, marked in red, are adjusted to the recommended threshold. Not addressing the configuration limits will not prevent Avada from running, However, it can impede the pre-built website importing process. Check the How to Use the System Status video, linked here, for more information on this. The best time to import a pre-built website is on a fresh WordPress installation. But with this tool you can also remove a previously imported pre-built. Importing a pre-built website will not replace any existing content like posts, pages, portfolios, etc. And it will not delete current menus or sliders. It will, however, import any necessary site content like menus, fonts, forms and off-canvases, and replace current Avada Global options with the pre-built website settings. So make sure you don't import a pre-built website on a completed site. Ok, so the first thing we need to do is choose a pre-built website. Just like you can on avada.website, here you can filter the sites by category by clicking on the links down the left hand side. When you hover over a pre-built website, there are two links, Import and Preview. If you click Preview, the pre-built will open on the avada.website site. Here you can browse it fully, exploring the layout and design to see if it suits your project. Take your time to find the right one for you. Functionality and style is what you are mostly looking at, as the content will be changed anyway. Once you have found one you like, you can then import it to your site. When you click on the Import button, it brings up an import dialog with several sections. The top section shows you what plugins are required to import the full pre-built website content. This will be different from pre-built to pre-built, depending on the plugins used. If there are any on the list that are not installed or activated, you can do that directly from this dialog by clicking on the Install or Activate link. But for this example, I'm going to go back and import the Avada Bed and Breakfast pre-built. In this case, it doesn't need any additional plugins other than Avada Core and Avada Builder, which are already installed. So we're good to go. At the bottom left of the dialog you will see the import content options. You can import the entire pre-built website by choosing all, or you can choose to leave out certain sections of the import by deselecting them. But to make sure your import looks like the live site does, choose all. Click import and the pre-built website importer will now run. 
a pop-up message will display ensuring you know what is being imported and the system requirements. Click OK to continue. Importing the website can vary in time depending on the content and your hosting, from a matter of seconds to about a minute or so. Once the process has completed, you can close the importer and head to the front end to check out the website. As you can now see, we now have an exact copy of the pre-built website ready to customize and personalize. If you'd like to import another pre-built website, it's not recommended to import a second full website over a first. If you've already imported a full pre-built website and wish to import another one, make sure to remove the initial website first. To do this, go back to Avada Websites, and you'll see there is now a site listed under the imported filter. Also, if you look at the thumbnail of the imported site, you will see a new label on it. If you did the full import, it will say full import. Now, when you mouse over the website thumbnail, you will see a modify link. Click this, and you'll see the option to remove content at the bottom right. So let's select that option and click on the big remove button at the bottom to take this site back to how it was before I added this particular website. I just need to say OK to this pop-up notice stating that only the website content imported in this specific instance will be removed. The uninstall process is even quicker than the install process and after a few seconds or so it has been uninstalled. Click done to close the dialog and now if we preview our site we can see the website content has been removed. I can now go back to Avada Websites and import another pre-built website. This time I'll import the Avada Business Coach pre-built site. OK, now that's completed. We can see that now we have the Avada Business Coach website content imported. That's how easy it is. OK, let's return to the importer again. In addition to the full pre-built website import, the import tool also allows you to just import parts of a website. Let's say you saw some interesting forms on the accountant website. If I click on import for that pre-built, we can just select forms, and as this won't import global options or other conflicting content, it won't affect our full pre-built website import. So let's click import, and say OK to the dialog. And when it's finished, let's go check out our newly imported content. I'll just navigate to forms. And you can see the new forms here. If we wanted to remove that imported content, if we return to the website page and look at the thumbnail for accountant, it shows we have a partial import. So here we could just click on modify and then just remove that content. OK, so once you have imported a pre-built, it's time to jump into the editor and customize the site to be your own. As I mentioned at the start, don't miss our two-part video series on customizing an Avada pre-built site. In that series, I take the Country Butcher pre-built site and turn it into an organic veggie farm website. The links are below. OK, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm sure you can now see how easy the pre-built website importer is to use to import or delete Avada pre-built website content. Try it out. You'll love it. OK, this concludes our video on how to choose and import an Avada pre-built website. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.